wife do we use Google Form? In my experience, I use Google Form to create a question or test to the student. One more, I can create the survey forms to my staff. And the Google Form is important so much and have me working fast. Can you tell me using forms? Yes, I can. Now let's start with these points all together. So the first step, you need to open the form app. So click on the app button and I scroll down. And you will see that the Google Form here. This is the icon of the Google Forms. Click on it. And next, this is the first template. And you come in here and you see that all of the template and the show. And first click on blank. And one more, I want to tell you that it, that is a, it's mean that a basics or default more like the example from a Google Form. And actually, if you want to uh, create by yourself, you click on blank here. Here, all of the my uh, OnePlus that wants to create my question here, and the first, you can add a title. So, I add the title here like that. And the uh, title here is the exams. And one more tab, that is a question. I think that you have to put name first, right? Because you want to get a information from a student name here like that. And next, click on this a button to choose and more app that you want to uh, get an answer from a student. So first have a short answer, a paragraph, multiple choice, and textbook, and any anymore, right? So the name I choose is short answer because the uh, short answer is mean that the student type, the text is uh, a little, like a name is maybe a 10 to or 15 letter. So click on this uh, requirement because uh, if you are turn on the requirement, I mean, the student cannot skip, right? So I click on add a question. This means that I want to add a new question. Okay, so the next question I got from the student is class. Because of my exam, I have a many class. It's one or eight class. So right click here. And if you don't want student to write uh, the classes, maybe sometime you want to be look up after uh, examination. But actually, you should be try uh, write the class to the student choose. So first, I'm click on to yeah. I choose the drop down here. Yeah, and, and next I click on to option and write. So for example, CMR. It's mean class one CMR and MMR, and the third is a uh, EI, right? So I have three class. I'm a teaching. Okay, I'm click on require buttons. I mean it's uh, turn on like uh, the first one. Okay, so I finish as two question and I go on. I click on this button add section. So the section is, is mean that you finish one step. So like so here, that is first step for you. And so you go on with the two step here. So click on the title, right? And remove, add the title please here. So so here, the title I write that, choose the correct answers. So here like that. Okay, this is my for example here. And then I click on to add a question. So this is the box that I need to write the question on here. My question like that, what is the Google Form photos? So here, I need to add a photo for my DIY computer, add here. So click on to make, and then click on browse. Yes, and my photo keeping on Google Form here. So I click on to show my photo. So this is my photo Google Form, click on it and open. So and after the photo will upload on here and I write here. So this is the answer number one. And the answer number two is I need to add one more photo. Click on photo and then click on browse. And I click on this photo and open. Okay, so this is my question and this is my answer. So if the student choose the number one is correct answer, but I need to turn on button, correct answer. Click on setting here, and then turn on the make this a quiz button. So if you don't turn on, it means that you cannot add score or correct the answer. Okay, so I think that you understand this one. Click on question back, and then scroll down here. So you see that the button is uh, answer key. Click on it, and next add the score of the question. Here. So the question number one, I give the student if a correct answer, I give 10 score. And so this is the first correct answer. I need to choose this one, 
you are right so if the student choose the number two portal it means that uh, incorrect so i click on done here so you can create more a uh, question like a 10 or 15 questions to the student also so i skip this one and one more i want to tell you that this is a button is a require button here so you click on to turn on it means that uh, this button the student cannot skip your question okay i think that you should be turned on during examination or test with the student and next i click on the section 3 here this is the section 3 and I'll remove the title and the section 3 is question so the question is mean that the student will to make a write the answer uh, to do with the question i'm gonna give them so i think that you understand this one and next click on to add question here and you see that check uh, the box first so here the first question i write that what is the google forms so here and you see that at first i want to you uh, choose the answer to the student right or applies to you so you click on to multiple choice here and you will see that and choose the paragraph after you choose the paragraphs it means that the student can write a long answer text it means that a lot of word a lot of text right i think you understand this one okay so and next we click on to the answer key and give the score to the student 10 if the student write the answer and i think that that is correct i give them 10 score okay and i click on done okay and one more i click on to require button here it's been a turn on button like uh, the first question right it's mean that the student cannot skip so i had a question already and next i will just to preview my question so i click on preview button okay so first the student wills to enter name and after is class right and next is to the section two click on next so for example i write auto david annex click on choose class and my class is a cmo and let's click on next button to section two okay so the student will start from the section one choose the answer they will read the question and after they choose the best or the correct answer once so if for example they choose the number one right and click next and then they enter the tag here like that and next click on submit ready this there is a process of the student so ready the teachers will back and then click on two responses to correct the answer click on got it and then the teacher will correct to the answer click on the individual and next scroll down so the first i want to tell you that about the uh, multiple choice it means that google form will correct auto right so like this you see that it means that the student one choose the number one answer it means that the correct answer so the score will give auto 10 okay so and section two is mean that the question the section two question is meant that uh, the student write the answer but uh, normally the student uh, write like this is meant a wrong question so i give zero yeah right like that so i want to tell you that if you are correct the answers is mean that uh, the machine or google form not uh, correct you are correct by yourself okay i think you understand this one and then after you correct the score click on save okay ready I think that you understand easy easy so this is a step by step for a, a teacher with a student and the last one that i want to tell you also like if you want to show the result score of the student in a worksheet you can click on this button here yeah and then click on create button okay it will show the small uh, template or uh, small form to record uh, some of a uh, time time so have a uh, date and year and month so next it will show about the score and names and class and the question also so that is clearly my data or the information like that here so this is a, a one more step we use a google form actually if you want to make quiz with a student you can do or uh, you can follow with my step by step there i told you at the moment thanks for your watchings bye see you in the video